Welcome everybody to the March 2022 customer training webinar. Good to see you again. Welcome back. Let's make sure I can advance slides. And there we go. Hey. Today, uh, I've been on a few of these. Matthew Davis, Chief Marketing Officer. I'm pleased to be joined today by uh, with with Gwen. Hello, Gwen. Hello. Thank happy you for participating in this. I'm super happy to be here. That other guy we had, Greg. <laughs> he was the the vice president of product. He was just he was no good at these, so we had to bring you in. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Craig, Craig was great at these. Um, yeah. Happy to hand them off to you though as well. All right, here we go. Uh, as we always do, we're recording it. We will share it out afterwards. If you have questions, use the Zoom Q and A button. That's like the fastest we can get through logistics. I don't know how we could do it any faster. <laughs> Uh, we do have some fun, exciting things coming up. We have one of our board members, Ron Fry, who has just been in the industry forever, a really, really smart person, a great thinker about all things automotive. He is participating in a webinar that we are co-hosting with Driving Sales coming up on April 7th. You will hear more about that soon. He's got some really, really fascinating topics. Just He looks at just things at a different level that most of us can't even fathom. So I'm excited to listen to that. Me, down on my regular level, I will be speaking at the Auto Intel Summit in Raleigh, North Carolina. We're going to be talking about how uh, Cuba and used cars somehow correlate with one another. And then we've got Joe Dallas speaking at the Kane Conference uh, the next week, and he is going to be talking about changes in human adaptability. And you can bet that there's going to be a tie-in there to automotive. And if there's not, then we're going to have a conversation with Joe afterwards. <laughs> All right. So, so here we go. So today uh, we've got some new features um, in Snap and Snap Plus to share, and this is some best practices content. We, we always have customers coming to us saying like, hey, it'd be great if you had this, and you're like, that's true, we should have that. And so we've done that, we've put that in there, and we will share that with you. So, oh, and if you need more detail on Auto APR, their payment calculator, how that drives website conversions, they're a really great fit with our company. We acquired them a couple of weeks ago. Uh, shoot a note down there, sales at trade pending. We, we can uh, be happy to talk you through it. All right, so here we go. We're going to kick it off with some new features. Gwen, you tell me when you want me to advance slides. There you go. Will do. All right. Awesome. I'm so happy to be here. We're going to shine a light on a couple of features um, that have recently been made available for our Snap and Snap Plus customers. Uh, this first one, the tax savings banner. So what is the tax savings banner? Um, essentially, in states where consumers can benefit from a tax savings on their trade and vehicle, uh, the trade pending report that one we all know and love can, can include a banner um, that will be underneath the three panel value to dealer breakdown that we're, we're all familiar with. Um, and this new banner will provide the customer with a calculated estimate of how much money they could save in a state sales tax by trading in their vehicle instead of just selling it. Um, so that's what it is. Um, a few things to note about why this uh, feature will be valuable for our dealers and, and their customers too. Um, so while we know that dealers are aware that in many states, this advantage to trading in a vehicle exists, um, it's, it's just not common knowledge among consumers and it often is a significant dollar figure. So um, bringing it to the surface, um, bringing this you know, important piece of information that is significant enough that the number might sway the math to compel someone to, to trade instead of selling a vehicle. Um, we wanted to highlight that and make that more of a prominent piece of information so that the consumer knows about it. Um, and also so that the dealer has it as a great talking point um, in favor of getting a consumer to trade in um, when, it, when, when trying to help the consumer decide what to do with their existing vehicle. So um, what else to note? Uh, this feature is available today. Yep, thank you for advancing there, Matthew. Um, it is available today by request to uh, trade pending support. Um, starting on April 1st, we'll be having it on by default for any new trade pending dealers that start up with us. And then um, we'll plan to roll it out to all existing trade planning dealers um, as of following that. So, so kind of a slow roll to get it to get it out there. Um, you can have it by request anytime you want. Just, just uh, get in touch with support. If you're a Snap customer, you can have it turned on whenever otherwise it'll it'll roll out to you eventually so so yeah wonderful 
That is the tax savings feature. Yeah. Is there any, like how, without going into too much detail, how are we calculating that? Yeah. Oh, great question. Yeah. Um, important to note. Um, so it, because a lot of places will also have, you know, m municipality style tax savings and whatnot, we're not getting over overly complicated and factoring all that in. We're just looking at the information available about what uh, tax percentage per state is available. So we'll look at the zip code for the dealership to determine which state we're talking about um, and then calculate um, based trade in value that the customers received multiply that by that by that percentage and spit out a number that's qualified on there it's not just here's your number it's it's qualified as you know an estimate um in, in, in that uh, participation or um, you know eligibility rather might vary from one place to another and they need to see their dealer for details just in case there's some some issue with it Got it. And to recap, this there's no additional charge for this feature. It's a it's included in Snap. And if you would like to enable this right now, just email support at tradepending.com. Correct, Amanda. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, hot leads. Hot leads. Get your hot leads here. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> the uh, hot leads report. Yeah, this is also a, a fun one. Um, this one's even newer, hotter, hotter off the presses. Um, it is an optional uh, daily emailed report that will list out um, the leads that have made repeat visits back to your website over the past few days, three days specifically. Um, it's available to our Snap Plus customers. Again, no additional charge if you're a Snap Plus customer, it's, it's inclusive. Um, and it, it, it's just, it's a really simple, easy to read report. It just lists out who these folks are, how many times they've been back to your site total, how many times they've been back in the past few days um, with a link to the lead report. So if you want to dig into which VDPs they've been on and when and what trade rate and value information they've got, you can get to all of that easily enough from the report, but it's just this real simple, um, right at your fingertips list of, of who's been back. Um, and the great thing about it, I think, is that sure, you know, Snap will continue to provide you with lots of leads, but we're trying to do more with, with all of us are trying to do more with, with less time these days and yet trying to meet all the same demands. So I want to be sure that the person who's been back to your site 10 times looking at four different cars in the past couple of days is not getting lost in the mix. Um, yeah, I think it was an important uh, thing to call out here. So it's it's not just any person that has been back to your site. They've completed a like a market report, right? Correct. Yes. So yeah. they've yeah. they've already done that. They've asked for a value on their trade in, and now when you click on this, like you get this email, and it's like, hey, they they've been back this time. When you click on it, you actually be able to see the cars that they are looking at, so that when you're picking up the phone, a you know they're they're much more likely to be in market, but then you can say like, oh yeah, and we actually, we just got a bunch of new SUVs in because you can see they have been looking at SUVs, right? right? So your talk tracks just get a lot more powerful and more influential there and more helpful. Absolutely, yeah, you can see, hey, that, that car that you've been looking at is gone now, but we have three more that we could talk to you about, you know, just, it just makes that conversation so much more engaging. That's right. And, you know, I, and not have to go, you know, some of this information might be available, but you don't have to go digging for it. It's just kind of served up to you. And, you know, as we've been testing it, it's frankly been interesting to me just to kind of see day to day, like, am I getting three repeat visitors, five, 10, you know, it, right. it's, it's a really nice gut check on, on what's going on with your leads and a great way to help you with prioritizing it to boot. And these links will be in the deck when we share it out, but on all these things we're on out, we have the support articles, the knowledge base articles on what you need to do to, to get more. And this one is just, there's, you don't have to email support to have it turned on. If you're a snap plus customer, it's just going to start happening. Is that correct? Um, yes and no, it's available, but okay. you do, uh, we, we do need to configure which, which email address it would go to. Ah. So, so send that, send that information on into, uh, the support at tradepending.com and then they can get it. Um, and it will just go to there. one email address, correct? You can't add like 20 email addresses to get the report currently, correct? Correct. Right now we're working on trying to see if we can't uh, make it so it could be multiple, but as of today, it's, it's, it's served up to one. So, okay. <laughs> Moving on, if you do have questions about any of this stuff, use the Q&A button and we'll take them as we go. All right, so we have a couple of new resources here that we'll share and I will tackle that. So one, we were speaking with Duran Cage, one of the 
um, one of our favorite people in automotive. And he says like, Hey, you know, like it would be fantastic if you guys actually had some SMS templates that you could share to help people and help people more effectively market their, their approach for inventory sourcing and for trade-ins uh, via SMS. Like, uh, why haven't we thought of that? That's a, such an easy thing to do and such a simple thing to do. So we did it. So there's a lovely knowledge base article right here. I will hop out here for you real quick and just kind of point you to it if I can drag my zoom bar out of the way. So there you go. It looks like this. And if you think about it, you know, like don't just blast it to everybody. I'm kind of preaching to the choir here, you know, marketing one-on-one -on -one stuff here, but segment your customers as best you can before you start messaging them. Make sure you got their first names in there correct. Like the first letter of the first name is capitalized. So it's not John with a lowercase J, that type of stuff. And make sure you've got any type of opt-in language that you need to include there. And so we've thrown a whole bunch of examples in here. Hey, here's some seasonal ideas. Maybe if you are thinking about segmenting based upon your, your customers right here, or if you're pairing this with Snap Plus, you can say, you know, tie that information together. Like, hey, we've seen you've been looking at a bunch of this and this right now. Would you like to learn more? And also service appointment reminders, which leads us to our next topic. I have to go back into full slideshow because, you know, it's a webinar, right? Yeah. <laughs> we want it to look nice. Uh, this one came from um, actually uh, a trade pending employee. Like there's so much opportunity to source inventory in the service lane. We've got a ton of articles about this already in terms of creating hang tags. You can hang from mirrors, say, scan this QR code to value your trade in to putting up little signs in your area to, we've even seen customers set up kiosks with, you know, value your trade, um, the snap tool right inside there. Um, but this one was, we just hadn't put anything in here yet. And it's super simple. Uh, and it's just, it is not a full blown email template, but in your existing service point reminders, we've got some text that you can just loop in there, add in there at the end, at the beginning, in the middle, wherever you see fit. And that looks like this. So if depending upon your messaging, if you want to talk about, hey, demand for used cars is really high right now, here is the snippet of, of text for you to use, lose, edit as you see fit. Or if you want to focus on your, your make and trim or recurring customer, you've got all these options here. Just let us know if these are helpful um, or just use them. So there we go. And now we're going to go back into the slide show zone. <laughs> Uh, this was a, another request that we had coming from uh, our own team here. And a lot of times they're out conducting training in the field. And uh, how do we empower the, the BDC reps, the salespeople to have everything that we discovered in one simple format? They just like print this thing out and stick it on your wall. And that's exactly what we have here. So a couple of PDFs here that talk about best practices. It's the whole idea is seriously just to print this out black and white, tape it up, next to the wall, next to the computer, so that when they are handling um, inbound leads from Snap Off or in Snap, here's the basic things you need to do. And then if you need some quick reminders of the talk tracks, here's how to approach it. And it's one of these things where if it sticks up there, it might stay, it might live up there for two weeks, six months. And before that, it just becomes automatic, take it down, or maybe it just becomes so attractive, you just leave it up there the entire time. And then something very similar for just talking about an in-store negotiation process. So if somebody's sitting down there with you and they want to talk about their trade-in, here's some basic steps that you can do. Like, hey, pull up your in-store closing link. If, if you need a reminder on how to find that, email support at Trade Pending, they can share that with you. And then just talking about the market report, it's how to analyze it, how to, how to look at it and read it. And so you can have a, a really open and transparent conversation about the value of their vehicle and where it is in the market. And so with that, boom, <laughs> that is it for the customer training webinar. It's always refreshing to have webinars that can be ideally quick and to the point instead of you and, and me just talking a lot for the sake of talking. There was probably some of that too, but here we are. We're done. So there are questions right now. We'll give you a minute to type them in. And if they're not, farewell. Gwen, how are you feeling? Oh, I'm great. I'm great. <laughs> I'm ready for it. I'm having another cold day out here. I'm outside of Denver and it's cold, but I'm looking for spring to show up here any day now. So things are looking up. <laughs> Wonderful. Well, there are no additional questions at this point. So we will sign off. Oh my gosh. Wait a minute. Here's one last oh, minute man. coming I in. in under the Where wire. can we access the templates? Wonderful question. Those are all in the knowledge base. So we've got links to them here. 
Um, support.tradepending.com is the landing page for the knowledge base. And those are uh, publicly available. So you can just go in there and find those and what you want to do. I'll just show you real quick since you asked. Yeah, you have time. There is all sorts of wonderful information here in SNAP. So everything about setup, lots of how to use the app and best practices, how to customize it. And this best practices is where we have been spending our time. And this bucket right here, these value your trade marketing campaigns, there's a ton of great information in here from uh, how to create your own Facebook ads with some pre-built templates, uh, all sorts of email templates that you can reuse for yourself. These are the SMS ideas that we mentioned here earlier, monthly ideas for social media ads. You get the idea. There. There's, that's where all that stuff lives. Nice. All right. Let's another question for you, too. We're firing in here. Let's see what do we have here. I hope it's a good one. <laughs> These features are available to those of us that are already using the SNAP and trade pending features. So um, for the features that I spoke about, the uh, tax savings banner um, is available for SNAP customers. The uh, hot leads report is available for SNAP plus customers. And I believe all, everything that you went through, Matthew, is available to, to both, uh, to, to all SNAP existing customers through the, through the knowledge base, correct? That's right. The knowledge is free. <laughs> the knowledge is free. I love it. <laughs> huh? All right. Okay. So with that being said, we are out of time. We are out of questions. If you do, oh, wait, 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 there's one more thing, as we <laughs> always do. If you want your own wobbly bird, this is a trade pending mascot. Do this bit.ly slash peep bird. Send us a note there. We will mail you one of these things. It comes in this nice little cylindrical tube. It's very cute. Yeah, he's fun. And if you do have questions, here we are. <laughs> Gwen will take all of your questions for you. <laughs> I love them. Yes, please send your questions my way. <laughs> all right, everybody. With that, we are going to sign off. Thank you for attending. See you next time.